Hi, this is Terry Gray with Palomar College and today I'd like to talk about a find and replace trick that you can use in Word uh, to help you format documents. Oftentimes I receive uh, documents that are uh, made in Word that have tables in them and unfortunately the tables are formatted with spaces rather than uh, tab characters. I'm going to turn on my uh, format marks in this document so you can see that I'm looking at a table just like that now. It has a description and then it has a um, price for the description, let's say. And if I were to turn on my grid marks, I'm going to the View, pan, uh, view tab, turning on Grid Lines, you can see that those decimal points in this table are not lined up. Okay, things, it's not good enough for us. <laughs> and uh, what I'd like to show you today is a trick you can use and this uh, develops into a larger topic of caret codes uh, but a trick you can use with find and replace to replace all of those spaces with tab characters and then format that tab character as a decimal tab okay here's how we do it uh, you can see the insertion point is at the beginning of our table and so if you have a table embedded in a lot of text put your insertion point there because we're going to manually control where the find and replace uh, starts and ends. Okay, I'm going to click replace, bring my replace dialog box onto the screen here and what I'm going to search for is the white space. Now white space is uh, any combination of uh, regular or non-breaking spaces or tab characters. Okay, so it can be, it's kind of a wide definition, so uh, we're going to manually find some and manually skip over others when we look for these. You'll notice though that I typed a caret, caret character, that is hold down shift and press 6, the caret character, and then the uh, character W. That's the uh, caret symbol, or the caret code, for white space and I want to replace it with a tab character and there's the caret code for the tab character. Um, I'll go ahead and list these caret codes elsewhere in a blog post but let's see how this works. Let's go ahead and find the next instance from where our insertion point is of a white space and uh, you can watch the um, watch the insertion point move, the selection point move, and it selected the first space character. I don't want to select that one and put a tab there. I want to find the next instance and his, this is what's so useful about it. I found all of these white spaces and they're considered as a unit and so I want to replace that unit of white spaces with the tab character. Okay, let's skip over the one it's on now and replace all of those now don't worry, they're not lined up quite yet, but you'll see how we'll get them all lined up in a moment. Let's find the next instance of those multiple spaces and replace it with a tab. Next instance, replace it with a tab. Next instance, replace it with a tab. Okay, Word is finished. The way uh, find and replace always works in Word is it starts where the insertion point is, goes to the end of the document, and then gives you an option to come back to the top of the document. We're done with find and replace now, so let's close this. Now we're going to do a little formatting. We're going to highlight that tab character. It could be any of the tab characters here, but I've just chosen the first one. Right click and go to its paragraph properties. Let me get that dialog box on the screen. And let's click the tabs button at the bottom of it and tell Word that we want a decimal tab and we want to place it at one inch. You can see I have the ruler turned on in this document so you'll see this decimal tab placed at one inch and say OK. And there's our decimal tab. Now let's take this entire paragraph, double click the format painter so we can now paint the same format for that paragraph on the other paragraphs and do that. Paint it on the second one, the third, the fourth and the fifth. And that's it. 
and now they're all lined up and I'll prove it by turning on my grid lines on that same decim decimal point okay that's that's my video now from here you could obviously select all of this text and now that you have it formatted well go to the insert tab and convert text to table and get a regular table out of it and then format that any way you wished okay that's a find and replace uh, trick using the caret codes thanks for listening